I also happen to be the lead for Power Africa in Nigeria. The United States Agency for International Development is partnering with the Ibadan Electricity Distribution Company in the Oyo State Capital to provide improved technical and managerial support to reduce energy losses. This partnership is part of its quest to increase access to electricity in sub-Saharan Africa under a pet project called Power Africa. It's very specific about what it wants to achieve, which includes loss reduction and improved management capacity and improved operations of the disco. So it's, it's very operational. It's very much about day-to-day -day work, improving operations, decreasing losses, improving the functions of the utility. And it's going to be very much in line with the work that we've done in Abuja Disco, Echo Disco, and Benin Disco. And if you look at the performance records of those distribution companies, you'll see that they have been making very steady and solid improvements in their operations. It's a very technical field, and it requires a lot of investment and capacity. So that's what we're doing. John Donacci is the managing director of the Ibadan Electricity Distribution Company, and he believes that teamwork is necessary to ensure sustainability and progress in the sector. It's about getting everybody that should be paying to pay their bit so that we can improve our collections and then hopefully over time be able to improve our investments in the industry around metering, around network enhancement, around transformers, around health and safety, etc, etc. In Nigeria we have to work together as a team to solve the issue. This is not your problem, our problem, it's our problem and we have to pay our piece of the of the pie that we buy, that we consume. And if we do that, the, the more stable we are, the better the business will be over the long term, and the cheaper electricity becomes if we all pay. The agreement will hopefully address complaints from industrial and residential areas like Mowe, Ibafo, Abeokuta, Ibadan, and other affected areas where residents hope to see a noticeable improvement in service delivery.